I just put four bitches at four seats. Money made me forget I got them needs. Hey, what's going on, guys? Skogie here, and I'm back with a brand new video for you all today. Um, I gotta start off for apologizing if you can hear the yard work happening behind me, but um, fortunately, I need to make this video now because it is July 5th on the day I make this, which I don't normally do. I don't normally make videos and then upload them same day, but uh, with 4th of July and work this past week, I've been super, super busy, and I haven't been able to be as ahead on videos as I've been trying to be and then on top of that I accidentally deleted two videos that I recorded which was yesterday's video because if you guys didn't notice my hair was different in yesterday's video it's because I actually recorded that video in April and I just had it uploaded on my channel as like a backup in case I needed something uh, which it did its job that's great but uh, I was gonna react to Costa Rica off of this Dreamville project, but I didn't get to because I accidentally deleted it after I recorded it. And then today I was going to do Lambo truck, but I didn't get the time to record that ahead, so I decided now I'll just do something off the album. I'll still probably I'll still react to Lambo truck, but um, it'll be in a couple of days. I want to react to some of the album stuff first, so that's what I'm doing now. So today I'm going to be reacting to Rembrandt, Run It Back, with uh, Jid, J. Cole, and Vince Staples, just because I want to hear how Jid and Vince Staples go together, and obviously Cole is fucking dope. I I'm trying to pick the songs off of this that I think I'll like the most to react to. In the next couple of days I'm going to kind of see which ones are getting the most popular too, and maybe gravitate towards those, but um, either way, let's just jump into this. Because I need to get this video out. Y'all get it bad and we don't give a fuck. I'm going to be away for the y'all. Push niggas to the book. Still starving. Real touch and touch the team. You get touch like home screen buttons. Home screen. Get touch like home screen buttons. Pissed off. Stick talk. This trick. Get mad. Rap niggas. What? Okay. It's weird to hear Jid rap like this. <laughs> Fuck them all, no slut shaming. Crack rock slang, black top pavement. You too concerned about how clever that is? I think that's Jid pitched down on the hook. I had a dream, I had a Glock. Okay, alright. Um, I probably would have made that song a little bit longer. Throw another hook on the end, maybe a different hook. Um, I know it sounds weird, but uh, it, it kind of reminds me of um, uh, the Jid and ASAP Ferg song off of the last album. Uh, I don't came uh, switching lanes, uh, whatever that hook is. And then he goes like, I'm feeling fired up, I'm feeling fired up. Boy. Like there's like two different kind of like hooky type things that go on. I think if they gave Jid like a different hook at the end there, and then like reverted back to the old like the original hook once more it would have made the song like maybe feel a little bit more full like given given Jid some kind of refrain there I would have liked but um I don't know that was still dope uh Cole is coming hard on this and like I've heard a lot of people and I was worried myself that J. Cole would show up and rap like I don't know like either not rap very much like only give a couple bars or like not really give his like top caliber of rapping with uh, these young guys because he's trying to put these people on he's trying to get them going but uh, I think he took the approach of hey if everybody 
loves my verse and is going to come back to this song and my people are on it, they're still going to start like listening and liking my people too. So I like that approach. Good job, J. Cole. Um, that song is fucking crazy. Uh, although then again, I'd say at this point, Jid is becoming more towards his peer than like his his like youngin like I don't, I don't know what to call it but like even though like J. Cole did sign him and he is still like influencing and like helping him through this mentoring him uh rapping wise like I think everybody knows like Jid and Jid can rap as good as Cole no questions uh he doesn't have quite the catalog or uh the like legendary like work work background yet but um he could get there he could get there and Vince Staples just always shows up in places you never expect him to and does things you weren't ready for <laughs> like I like that was I've never heard him get into that voice uh that he got into for a minute there uh I don't know, he like got like higher up and like started almost singing, but he can't really sing, it sounds like. I don't know, it, it was good. I liked it a lot. Uh, it was different. And I guess that's what that's what I'm looking for late in the evening, like is something different that I can bang, and that's up there. Anyway, that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you in videos soon. More Dreamville, I promise. Uh, just let me know which ones I should listen to if you're listening to this now. Later. Back from the bar though, bumping Mac DeMarco. When the bar closed, the bar stools got bar codes. Quoting Fargo, shows in Park Slope. Withdrawal dough from Wells Fargo, Spark Dro. Key Largo, got no embargo. Puff a Cuban cigar, eat it escargo. It's on the forks, you don't.